These are adorable little baby felty owls. They come in one mold and they've got great texture on them for dry brushing. I'm going to base coat and dry brush as I go. The first step, I'm going to base coat the outside felt area of the, of the owl. This one I'm going to base coat with medium blue on this outside area. And this one I'm going to base coat with yellow, medium yellow. Then I'm going to come in, float some color on it, and dry brush before I base coat the other areas. The reason I do that is I don't have to be careful when I'm dry brushing this area not to get this area. I'm going to base coat it and dry brush it and then come in and base coat and dry brush this area. So to begin with, I'll base coat this owl's outside area with medium blue. I've base coated the outside of this felty owl with medium blue. And you can see I haven't been particularly careful because I'm going to come back and dry brush this area and then paint this area. This little guy, I'm going to base coat the outside with medium yellow. Now that I've base coated the felt areas of the, ta of the owls, I'm going to use the opaque stains watered down as an antiquing agent before I dry brush. On this owl, I'm going to use um, Kimple Colors 932 Blueberry. I'm going to squeeze out a little bit of it in my palette. I'm going to add a little bit of water. And I'm going to come in and antique over the medium blue areas so that the purple will go down into the recesses. I watered down blueberry and antiqued the little blue owl, letting the blueberry just fall into the crevices. And now I'm going to do the same thing with my yellow owl. I'm going to dilute some 951 Navajo in my palette. And now I'm just going to let the runny paint fall into the crevices on the texture. After antiquing the owls with the diluted opaque stain, I'm going to dry brush that area with the original base coat color. When I dry brush, I'm going to use my Creative Paradise dry brush. This one's a size 5, and I'm going to load my brush and then wipe a lot of it back out and just hit the high areas. I've dry brushed the owl with the medium yellow and there's some areas where I think I've taken a little bit too much of the Navajo antiquing off. So what I'm going to do is use, I still have the diluted Navajo over here on the palette and I'm going to come in with a brush and just add some back in. And if I want to, I can use that dry brush that I had the yellow on it and smooth that color into place. The same is true for the little blue guy. If I want to add more purple in, I can use that original diluted purple and go and float in the crevices on that one as well. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to base coat the burlap areas with burnt brown. 
I'm going to use the cat tongue and I'm just going to base coat the burlap areas which is the stomach and inside of the wings and the inside of the ears with 947 burnt brown. You can see this is where you can clean up where you dry brushed into that area accidentally. I've base coated the burlap areas with burnt brown, the bellies, the inside of the wings, and the inside of this guy's ears. Now I have squeezed out a little bit of 951 Navajo, 907 Caramel, and 908 Tawny Beige onto my palette and I'm going to start dry brushing the burlap areas using a stiff dry brush. This is a Creative Paradise size number 8. I'm going to start with the Navajo by itself. Put some in the brush, wipe some of it out. Start hitting mainly just the high areas. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the caramel into that same brush. Now I'm going to add a little bit of tawny into that same brush. Just mainly highlighting the texture. It really picks up that lovely burlap texture. I'll continue like this on all of the burlap areas on both owls. I've base coated and dry brushed the burlap areas. Now I'm going to base coat the eye pad that is going to be white with tawny beige on both owls. I will base coat the tawny, them tawny beige and then dry brush white on top. Then I'm going to base coat the iris of this owl with our new tree frog green. It's a beautiful green. And I'm going to base coat this one's beak with the green. I've base coated the whites of the owl where the whites are going to be with tawny beige and the iris and the beak with the tree frog. Now I'm going to dry brush the whites of the eyes with white. I've squeezed out a little bit of white onto my palette. And I may get a little bit on the iris, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to outline the iris with a color at the end. I'm going to put this white brush down for a minute and dry brush the green of the eyes, letting the white set a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of the tree frog in my brush and add a little bit of caramel to that same brush. Come back to the white. I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher. And I'll do the same thing to the white of the other owl's eyes and the green of the beak. Now that I've dry brushed the eyes white and the beak and the irises of this one green, I've dry brushed them, I'm going to base coat the feet and the beak of this owl with 917 Pumpkin. I've base coated the feet and the beak with pumpkin and now I have diluted, so I've diluted 910 Scarlet Red and washed it into the crevices to antique. Done that on both owls. You can see that the 
diluted red has just washed into the crevices. Now what I'm going to do is use a small cat tongue to dry brush just so that I have a little bit more control. Dry brush the pumpkin back over that area. And add a little bit of caramel into my brush. I'll do the same thing to this owl and this owl's beak. Now we've base coated and dry brushed all of the areas of the owls. It's time to come in and do some detailing. The first thing I'm going to do is use a nice detail brush. This one is a size 2 and it's a long liner brush. And I'm going to use uh, apply burnt brown to the ring around the eyes and around the iris here. I've outlined the eyes with the burnt brown. Now I'm going to paint the buttons and the irises black and paint the thread between this owl's toes with clover green. So it's going to be 902 black on the irises, I'm sorry, on the pupils, the button and the pupils, and it's going to be 919 clover green on the thread between this owl's toes. Now that we've dry brushed the owl and painted the rim around the eyes and put black on the pupils, we're going to use stencils to uh, put a little leaf pattern. These stencils that I have are folk art stencils and they're flexible and a little bit sticky so they're nice to work to use on ceramics. I'm going to use this leaf of this stencil and I'm going to uh, pounce on some of the medium blue in the top part of the leaf. And then I'm going to pounce some of the burnt brown on the bottom part, blending the colors together. And I'll take that off and see what I have. I'm going to use this other stencil, just part of it, to make this cute little leaf pattern. I'm going to reverse it. I'm going to pounce the brown in the top of this leaf and then pounce blue on the bottom, blending the colors together where they meet. Then what I'll do is I will repeat this pattern in sort of a Swiss dot pattern so it looks like a piece of fabric. And to um, make the leaves stand out a little bit more, I'm going to use teal green, teal blue, sorry. And I'm going to create a little vein on the leaves. The floral pattern is stenciled on the burlap and the last thing I'm going to do is dry brush just a little bit of copper on these eyes. I've already done these just to give them a little bit of glint and I'll just dry brush it just a tiny bit on these eyes. And now we have our adorable owl babies completed.